Good afternoon, it's February 6th, 2023. It's Monday. <clears throat> it was very Monday -y at work today. Uh, but, um, anyway, good news is we're doing the experiment. I didn't wear my, uh, my other jacket today, and I didn't get sick. I, uh, if you've been following the channel, you know I've been getting sick on my way home and on my way to work, and uh, trying to figure out what it is. And I'm yawning now because I'm tired. I just started the ride, so it's not it's not the same symptoms. Um, but I I made it into work um, with no ill effects, so I suspect that the um, it's my jacket. Like this is part two of the experiment to drive home to see uh, to see what happens um, if I if I do or do not get sick. Oh. These guys are blocking the box. There's a cop right behind him holding up Lucky. So anyway, uh, not wearing that suit coat that I normally wear. I uh, did not get sick on the way in. Now I'm doing the drive home. We'll see what happens. whether or not the making the video while I'm driving is triggering any kind of motion sickness or something like that. <clears throat> my my money is on my suit coat is radioactive. That's that's where I, that's that's what I'm betting. silence the whole time, so I'll, I'll tell you a story about telling stories. So one day, many, many moons ago, um, I was working at a bearing company, um, and it, I, I came home and uh, I was telling my mother, I was very young at the time, I was late teens, early 20s, um, and I told my mom, that I was at work relating an amusing anecdote to one of my coworkers, and she uh, she slapped me right across the face mid sentence, and she said to me, um, "You work in a machine shop. You were not relating an anecdote. You were telling a story." It was very very funny, very very mean, but it's very very funny, very memorable. That was a very short story. I need to come up with a longer one.
I don't like this new traffic pattern where you get on the turnpike. There's too many people trying to uh, cross each other's paths. Something, something came up at work. It, it's actually come up a few times, and like I, I have a question for all of my viewer. Um, like I don't know if there's more than one viewer. I, I know I've only got like the two subscribers right now. I think I still have two. I've got to check. But how how many phone numbers do you have? Um, like a lot of people have their just like their cell phone number. Sometimes they'll still have a landline. Um, Sometimes they'll have a Google number on their phone. Sometimes they'll carry a second phone for work. Uh, sometimes they'll, you know, carry the, you know, the side chick phone, secret other family phone, things like that. Um, but without without having to go into detail for why, how many different phone numbers do you currently have that you can be reached at? At which you can be reached. All right. So I I'm going to stop here. Let this guy go. Hopefully they let me zipper in. The traffic is really heavy today and weird. It's heavy and weird. It's, it's awkward. It's, it's not heavy. It's just bulky. I have, I don't know how many, one, two, three, four, maybe four, four numbers, five numbers. Like, if, if you work at an office, that number doesn't count. You can't, you can't use your, your desk number. Unless you're self-employed, then you can use that number. But if you have a work cell phone, that's different. That does count. I'm just going to just make up the rules as I go along, so keep up. In this morning's video, part one, I... <laughs> manipulate this as best I can, but I, I see we're still getting some significant shake over here. Um, this morning's video, part one, right after I went to Dunkin' Donuts, like maybe a minute or two later, I was nearly, uh, I was nearly in a head-on collision with a, uh, with a pick work truck. Um, you know, one of those pickup trucks that has the ladders on it and stuff like that. I don't know what the guy was doing. I don't even know if it was a guy. I'm just assuming it was a guy. Um, I'm just using the term kind of generically the person anyway yeah they just like they came around they're going like super fast they just completely in my lane um and they jutted out of my lane at the last last second but uh it was dicey there it was pretty dicey for a couple of seconds this is just going to be an awful session i had more pep uh, this morning i had the uh, I had lots of things to talk about. Um, but I don't for the afternoon session. When I've got a lot less pep, um, I'm tired, beat down, got the Monday blues. Retrospect, I should have bought them. They cost millions and millions of dollars to build, but they don't serve any real function anymore. They make great silo homes, but you can't get them cheap anymore. They, they used to be like really, really inexpensive, but I should have snagged one up when I had the chance years ago. I, th I think I literally could have bought one for like $35,000. Now you can't get one for like less than $700.
call my subscriber, but I keep forgetting to put his phone number in my other phone. So I can't call him now because his phone number, I wonder, now I, I can't, like anything I do will definitely stop this from recording. So. But I could look his number up in between. So like when I end part one and go to part two, I could get his phone number, punch it into my other phone and then call him. And that would be really weird because then my subscriber would be in the show or the video. So he'll be watching it later and he'll be in it. And that's really important. Like when you're looking at people's vacations photos, it's not as interesting to you as it is to them because they're in the pictures. But if they could some, like if, if you were coming over to my house and I was gonna show you some of my like crazy vacation pictures from when I went over to the Mediterranean, if I could somehow photo impose you into a lot of the pictures, you would be a lot more interested in seeing those pictures. It's like here you are at the Parthenon with us. You weren't really there, but I want you to look at these pictures. So I put you there. Six shirts in my entire rotation. 
that I wear with consistency. Again, having to do with me being a great big fatty, a lot of my shirts, when I put them on, I just start screaming for help. Although, like I, I've said, I'm becoming less, less of a great big fatty. Um, although I covered it this morning, uh, like I told, as I've said, I, I want to get, I want to get in shape. I want to lose weight. I'm not doing anything to actively make that happen, but I'm, I'm losing weight. I guess mainly through will alone because I'm talking about it. So I'm just, I'm manifesting weight loss, loss, manifesting, manifesting weight loss. I'm also using. Losing, sons of, losing my ability to talk. Me not word good. So yeah, anyway, the point is, like, I, I got on the scale today and I was literally a hair, just a hair under 200 pounds. Nowhere near 199, but not quite at 200. I'm still, if I'm still under 200 pounds tomorrow morning, I, w I will, like, actually start making a concerted effort to, uh, not so much get in shape, but the lose weight thing. Um, and I'll probably do all the stuff you're not supposed to do. Like, first I'll do the starvation diet. Like, I'll, I'll go on a, like, a fast for three days, and then I'll go full keto. Like, I'll only eat things I've killed myself. Jokes. Like I kill a lot of jokes. Um, no, you, you know what I mean. I'll just go uh, zero carb diet because I like to do things to the extreme. Uh, just converting that fat into fuel. Um, 
but I believe uh, one of the last times that I did the uh, paleo, keto, low carb diet, um, my body figured it out pretty quick because I, I like you know, I, I did it intermittently. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it forever as a lifestyle because um, I like, I like carbs. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff like it. I don't, I don't want to make like a cauliflower crust pizza with all that stuff. Like every once in a while, I want pizza. I mean, I can go on the diet for weeks or months at a time without an issue and I can have cheat days, but um, it's not something, like I only use it to uh, lose weight. I don't, like I don't mind the diet. The foods are good, but there's just a lot of carbs that I, I really enjoy. Wow, I am way over the 22 minute mark. I apologize. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you go, and then I'm gonna come back. So have a wonderful day.